Hey guys, Bart here with TST Industries. In this video, we're gonna show you the installation of our Gen 2F flasher relay on a 2017 and up Honda Grom. Now this part cures the problem that is commonly caused by removing a set of signals or changing the signals to an LED type signal that draws much less current than the OEM signals. On this particular bike, you see only the front signals, the rear signals have been removed. As you can tell, the OEM flasher relay stopped flashing, and that is a common problem with these bikes. They either stop flashing or flash extremely fast. So what do you do? Simple installation, Gen 2F relay, goes right in, plugs in in the same fashion as the OEM relay. It just simple replacement. We'll show you how to do it. Takes five minutes, let's begin. All right, so we went ahead and changed the signals on this particular bike. As you can see, the symptom persists. I've activated the left signal and it's just stuck on. So what we'll do here is remove all of these components and uh, gain access to the compartment where the relay can be swapped. This is very simple. This entire component is one piece. We will use five millimeter Allen to remove these two fasteners on this side and two in the same locations on the opposite side. And once these fasteners are out, the disassembly, these components is very, very simple. We'll just grab the painted parts and spread them apart from the center line of the bike and that will clear the holes here from the bosses that capture the geometry in place. They do have shoulders, so they do need to be spread apart. Now we gain access to the inside and the OEM relay is located here. We'll slip off the plug and take the relay off this steel tab. It hangs there with this rubber keeper. For the meantime, I will leave these components here and remove this rubber keeper from our OEM relay. Slip it onto the tab on the TST Industries relay. And now we can install this relay with its rubber keeper on that tab and Plug it in. It's really that simple. The rest of the procedure is the reverse order of disassembly. Now, I do want to note this is an adjustable relay. So we can slip off the gray cover and fine tune the flash rate. We'll show you how to do that in just a second. If you don't have any fancy requirements, you could just be done here. Just reassemble everything. I'll show you the flash rate that it's pre-programmed with. It's 85 cycles per minute. Most guys will like this enough and uh, we'll just move forward with the reassembly. But for those of you that want to be extra fancy, I'm going to show you how to adjust that flash rate. So I will unplug the relay, remove it from its keeper and slip the gray cover off. This is the, the easiest way to do this is using a little flathead screwdriver, but it's actually also possible by hand. All I have to do is clear these tabs from the receiving features and the blue component, and this comes out. Now, I'll plug this back in to the OEM plug, and now we'll be ready to start the adjustment process using this potentiometer here. All right, so this is a straightforward procedure. It requires a Phillips screwdriver, mini Phillips. One thing to note is you're holding a naked circuit board with a lot of contacts on it. Please make sure you do not touch it to any conducting part. You can ground it out and blow a fuse or blow something on the board. So first, I'll power up the bike and then I will activate a signal that I can see as I adjust. Now, I will turn the center of this potentiometer going clockwise. We'll slow down the flash rate and going all the way counterclockwise, we'll speed it up. Now on this particular bike, in this configuration, 
this doesn't have much of an effect it's just a slight change but it still allows you fine tuning so we'll go right about here I'm happy with that power down the bike and get the cover back onto the circuit board uh, there are two ways you can try to jam this in but if you notice there is a channel in here that accepts the circuit board so the channel is where you will slide in the circuit board and press the blue part into the gray part and just reassemble this onto the steel tab plug it back in and now we can reinstall this entire assembly in the reverse order of this assembly here Once you get all four holes from these shrouds to fit onto the bosses, you can reinstall the screws. All right, so before we are done, I'm gonna test the system one more time. As you can see, both left and right signals are flashing at my preset rate. So this installation is complete, the bike is ready to go. Hope you guys enjoy this video and check out our other videos, check out our website. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please place them below in the comment feed. Other than that, we're done here. See you guys next time.